How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good morning to you. I'm Paul Cicala. The countdown continues for Arizona as they gear up for Thursday's showdown in the NCAA tournament against Buffalo. Pac-12 champs left campus for Boise yesterday afternoon, and this is footage of the Wildcats on the south side at the Tucson International Airport getting ready for their direct flight to Boise. The Wildcats are now set to have their NCAA-mandated court practice to open to fans on Wednesday, which is today. We hope to bring you footage. Meanwhile, as mentioned, two Pac-12 teams that Arizona beat in route to the NCAAs suited up last night. UCLA, who the Cats knocked off in overtime in the conference semifinal game. Hey, still, was it disrespectful to the Pac-12 and West Coast to be one of the last four in? And remember, USC, who finished second to the Wildcats, was snubbed from the NCAAs. I caught up with the U of A's legendary guard, Reggie Geary, who played on the 1994 Final Four team under Lute Olson, and he is chiming in on the Pac-12 in the postseason. Yeah, you know, when you look at it, you look at the seating and who got in and who didn't, you have to think that something there was something there. You know, Coach Olson always used to talk about the East Coast bias 25, 30 years ago and, and see it kind of play out the way it has. Um, it was a little disappointing. You know, it seemed like the East Coast media, for whatever reason, were playing our games or going to sleep. So maybe they're not as aware. Uh, looking at the seating, kind of the placement where everybody's at, I think uh, Pac-12 fans definitely feel disappointed kind of where things are at. You know, uh, the committee made some interesting choices there. It seemed like they were put a lot of um, a weight on, on early season wins and just kind of discounted conference play. And that's a shame because USC was playing fantastic ball towards the end of the season. But hopefully, like I say, Pac-12 can, can figure things out and everybody can be successful. The madness of March is in full swing after an exciting batch of conference tournaments, including the Pac-12 tourney that saw Coach Sean Miller and the Cats cutting down the nets in Las Vegas. And now Arizona gets set for a Thursday night showdown. That's right. Arizona is a four seed. And the Cats will take on 13 seed Buffalo. There they are around 6.40 p.m. on Thursday in the NCAA tournament. The Wildcats are 27 and 7, while Buffalo is 26 and 8. Now Arizona is making its 33rd appearance in the NCAA tournament with an all-time record of 56 wins and 31 losses. During the Sean Miller era, Arizona is 13 and 6 in the NCAAs. And this is the seventh appearance in the big dance in Miller's nine seasons in the Old Pueblo. For complete tournament coverage with the Arizona Wildcats and in-depth stories and video on how Zona got to the NCAAs, we have much more on KVOA.com. In the TechNet Center, I'm Paul Cicala.